Hello friends, welcome to our channel Piping Mantra. Today we are going to learn about piping MTO. It is one of the most important competencies of piping engineer. So without wasting any time with the intro, let's quickly get to it. MTO stands for material takeoff and in layman terms, MTO task is involved in most of our daily activities, whether it is shopping, cooking, painting, fabrication, construction, and many more. Now, let's see what is MTO in general. Material takeoff or MTO of piping items is a detailed listing of piping components required for a given project. It includes commodity code, size, quantity, and purchase description for all the items. Many a times, we get confused with material takeoff MTO, bill of material BOM, bill of quantity BOQ. Let's first discuss about piping MTO or piping material takeoff. This is the action of counting off pieces and parts needed to fabricate, purchase or to construct something. Next comes piping bill of material that is BOM. This is normally a listing of only the materials shown on an individual specific drawing such as piping isometric. The piping BOM is not used for purchasing. The piping and components will have already been purchased and are readily available to the fabricator who built the line from the material or components specified on the BOM. Next comes piping bill of quantities that is BOQ. This is also called as material summary. This is the totaling of all the quantities from all the BOMs from whole project to send a piping supplier for pricing or purchase. The piping bill of quantities is a tendering document. This would cover the scope of materials for the entire piping component of the project, but it would not be the final definitive list. This is produced earlier in the project prior to construction level drawings, so it would not have the definition that the MTO gives. So we have seen how important MTO is. Now let's discuss about the purpose of MTO. The MTO is used for the purpose of making proposal material estimation and preparation of purchase acquisitions. Now comes MTO stages. Depending on the project, there are typically three material takeoff sessions during a process piping project. First is preliminary, secondary and final. There may be more and they may have different names and may occur at different phases of the project. For example, preliminary 30%, 50%, 70%, 90% and final phase etc. Let's first discuss the preliminary MTO is generated manually at the beginning of the project. There is usually limited information to work with. Very often the 3D model is not available or complete at that stage. Hence, we generate the MTO on the basis of PNID and project specifications. This would never be used for purchasing reasons. There are two reasons a preliminary piping MTO is usually done. First is to assist with the early order of magnitude that is plus minus 10% estimate for the overall project. Second is to issue early order of magnitude RFQs that is request for quote for piping materials. The preliminary piping MTO is only done once the PNIDs are ready for client review and approval and a plot plan has been approved by the client or has been issued to the client for approval. Now, following input documents are required for working out the initial or first MTO. Piping and instrumentation diagram that is PNID, line list, piping material specification, project specification and standard drawings, equipment drawings and data sheets if available, instrument hookup sketches. Now let's discuss about the steps for manual MTO preparation. First is collect all the MTO data. Then all pickable items are like walls, reducers, flanges, branches, etc. entered in MTO format Excel file. Then all entries must be taken against specific line number. In case a line number is not marked on PNID, it has to be assumed by adding suffix A or B etc. with main header line. Specs should be mentioned as per piping material specification. For special items like strainer, steam trap, sample cooler, flame arrester, silencer, side glass, special walls shall be tagged in PNID. Items like safety shower, hoses, coupling shall be given common tag number distinctly. Prepare list of these specialty item Excel. Non-pickable items as pipe length and elbows is generated by either routing of each line shown on the PNID and identify a routing for this line on the 2D plot plan or by routing line directly in 3D platform. 
fittings and walls for high point vent and low point drain should be considered and a full coupling should be considered for socket weld or threaded pipe which are running in long run at 6 by 7 meter interval based on standard pipeline for particular project. There are many more points which we have to remember while calculating MTO which we will discuss in later part of this video. Then combine pickable bulk items and non-pickable items except piping special items. Yellow off each line on the PNID as you go. Once all lines are yellowed off, they can be checked and the data is collated into the preliminary MTO. Now comes secondary MTO. There are basically two reasons for doing a secondary piping MTO. First is to update piping quantities for issue of the actual purchase order for piping material. Second is to update the project estimate. The secondary piping MTO is done when there is significant process on the piping design, whether it is done in 3D or 2D. It must be done early enough to ensure that the procurement of the piping materials will fit the overall project schedule. Now comes final piping MTO. The final piping MTO will identify any late additions to the project and should serve to catch anything that may have been missed in earlier piping MTOs. The final piping MTO will also nail down the final job costs. The final piping MTO is produced when the last isometric has been drawn, checked, approved and issued. Any discrepancies between the secondary piping MTO and the final piping MTO would be identified at this stage. Purchase orders that is POs can now be issued with the updated information. Now let's look at some important points to be remembered while calculating manual MTOs. For control walls and PSPs, if size is not given in PNID, one size smaller is considered and mark hold if not given in PNID. Consider end user requirement of instrument air supply lines or to manifold as per project standard. Thermowells required minimum size, for example, minimum 4 inch pipe size requires 1.5 inch minimum thermowell size. MTO for instrumentation on stand pipe which includes LG, LT instruments, vent and drain, stand pipe taken as per PNID or standard assembly. MTO for inline instruments is properly considered as per piping instrument interface diagram. For flow meter like orifice flanges should not be considered in MTO. They are in instrumentation department scope whereas upstream and downstream straight run requirement is considered. For RO, that is restriction orifice, ensure MTO for flanges. For tagged instrument valve, no MTO should be considered. For spec break at flanges, flange in lower rating line should be of the same rating as that of the connected higher rating flange. Breaker flanges for removable spools are required for equipment like heat exchangers, pumps, compress. If not shown in PNID, mark them and send comments to process department. Consider breaker flanges for temporary and conical strainers. Additional breaker flanges or couplings for material handling requirements. Breaker flanges for prefabricated flange spools of galvanized lines are considered based on maximum length of spool that can be galvanized or transported. It is normally 4 inches and above. Weldo head or reducing T with flange is considered for large size branch from a galvanized header as per spec. Extra length bolts for flange connections with wafer type balls PSVs, insulating gaskets, spectacle blind, restriction orifice, conical strainers, etc. Jack screws for large pore spacers, blinds or spectacle blinds as per specification. Insulating gasket kits is considered if required in specification for flange joints of dissimilar metals. That is it for today guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit like button and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Comment your feedback, suggestions or request a topic for the next video. And please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification. You can also follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn for more updates. So till then take care. Bye bye.